Hello, my name is Bartek and I'm a customer success advisor here at GetResponse. In this video, I'll show you how to create a form. First, click on the Create button and click on Create Form. This section has all the beautiful templates for your forms created by our team. You can select different kinds of layouts like course signups, event signups, or your free ebook downloads. You can also just browse through all of our templates that we have, or even just create a blank one to start you off from scratch. You can also click on Color Magic to automatically match the color scheme of your website to the one in a form to save you some time. For our example, I'll just pick a regular template. Before I do so, however, let me just walk you through the other form options that we have. There's the List Builder Wizard, which is the section we've looked at just now, but you can also go to List Builder Apps to see the different form types you have, like a pop-up a or a fixed bar that you may want to use. There's also access to the plain HTML code if you'd like to use HTML and CSS to build up your form directly on your website. Finally, there are many integrations to publish your forms on different websites that you may have, like WordPress or Facebook. Let's go back to the List Builder Wizard and select our template. We can now customize our template a little bit more. On the right-hand side of the screen, you've got all of the default fields that you can fill out. It also populates any custom fields you've created in your account or GDPR fields, which your subscribers can click to give you the consent to receive marketing messages from you and for you to process their data. Here you can also add the static elements to your form to customize its design. you also notice that whenever you click anywhere within the template, you'll get multiple editing options. Whenever you click on the background element, for example, you can make the form itself larger or smaller. You also have additional tabs here, so you can adjust the layout of the form in this way, rather than having to drag the cursor. You can also change the display properties, so even if you choose this as a general inline form uh, and didn't use the list builder apps, you can still make it a pop-up or one that comes up when scrolling, which is quite handy. You can also adjust your display settings here, so if you want to specify how it will appear. The style tab lets you customize the background image or color. We could, for example, make this form a little bit larger and move our, down our button and add a birth date. And now we can also collect the birth date when your customers sign up. You can also change the settings of your form right here and select the list you'd like the form to be assigned to, enable your double opt-in settings, add them to your autoresponder cycle, pick your thank you page settings and add a recapture to your form. When you're happy with your settings, just click on save. When the form is done, click on save and publish. Here you'll now see the ways you can embed your form on your website. If you want to install the form yourself, just copy this code right here and paste it into the code of your website. You can also email this code to your web designer if you'd like them to do it. Just click here and send your message. The form can also be hosted by GetResponse. Just click here and you'll be able to send this link to your customers. If you'd like to find the form again, just go to Forms and Surveys and then your form's right here. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, we have a lot of great content to help you improve your online marketing. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on our social media. If you have any more questions, please feel free to contact us via email or via our 24-7 live chat right here. Happy marketing!